One of the main reasons a lot of people stay in toxic relationships is because they are afraid they are abandoning their toxic person, narcissistic person, whatever. And if you're new here, my name is Lee Hammock. I'm a diagnosed self-aware narcissist and I point out toxic people's traits and behaviors. In today's episode of A Narcissist Explains, we're going to be talking about outgrowing your toxic person and moving forward with your life. Stay tuned, like and subscribe for more. Don't be afraid of outgrowing someone that had the opportunity to grow along with you. And if you're new here, I'm a diagnosed narcissist. I have narcissistic personality disorder. One of the main things that I see that keeps people in toxic relationships is they feel like they don't want to outgrow their partner. They feel like they are abandoning their partner because their partner is no longer on the same level as they are. So instead of moving on and trying to be better for yourself, you try to drag this toxic narcissistic partner along with you. You all know that when you try to carry dead weight, you slow your own journey or you end up backtracking and going backwards. A lot of toxic narcissistic people are comfortable with the lives that they are living. Regardless of how it looks, they can have absolutely no place, no home, no income, no nothing, but be comfortable living that lifestyle because people seem to always want to take care of them and nurture them and see the potential in them. So if they feel like you are outgrowing them, they might intentionally try to hold you back, try to get you fired from your job, try to get you to drop out of school, things like that. So welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, y'all. Y'all can see new scenery. I'm shooting in the kitchen right now. Everybody's gone. I was just like, let me mix it up real quick. I know y'all see the black background. I was just outside for a different video. I'm just moving around. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling exhilarated. I'm feeling rejuvenated actually because my therapy, my latest few therapy sessions have been going really, really good. I'm learning a lot more about myself. But back to the topic at hand, outgrowing the toxic person in your life, the toxic person that you have been dealing with, the narcissistic person that you have been dealing with. That quote I said at the beginning of the short video where I said, um, don't be afraid of outgrowing someone who had the chance to grow with you. Narcissistic and toxic people typically do not want to grow with you. Some of them will grow with you as y'all go along because y'all set these goals and dreams and things like that. But a lot of times when you're dealing with a narcissistic person, toxic person, they don't want to see you grow unless that growth is to the benefit of themselves and unless they can take credit for that growth, unless they can say that, that hey, you're growing because of me and things of that nature. Like they can say to that, uh, the only reason that you're growing as fast as you're growing or the, the only reason that you are in the position that you are in your life right now is because of me. You wouldn't be here without me. You wouldn't be living your life without me. You wouldn't be doing this without me. And they'll take credit for your growth and your success. But a lot of times when you deal with narcissistic people, they'll try to hold you back. They don't want to see you grow, y'all. They'll try to, like, like I said in the short video, you'll be moving forward with your life, you'll be living your life, growing, getting promotions, getting a new, a new job, going back to school, and that narcissistic person is comfortable where they are in life. And it frustrates you because you, as a you know non-narcissistic person, I guess, or <laughs> You see the potential in them. You see, you like you can. You have the potential to do so much more. So you, like I said, you're trying to drag them up. You're trying to pick them up. You're trying to lift them up. You're trying to bring them up to your level. But that rarely ever works, y'all. Because when you try to, sometimes when you reach back down to pull somebody else up, you tumble down too. You fall down too. You are missing things as well. Like you, you lose sight of your own vision because you keep turning back or looking down to try to pull somebody else up, to allow somebody else to catch up with you. And a lot of narcissists, a lot of people who are dealing with narcissists, toxic people, whatever, feel like they are abandoning the narcissist or toxic person or whatever because they feel like they're leaving them behind. I like I want we're supposed to grow together. We're supposed to be a power couple. We're supposed to be this. We're supposed to be that. You know. And it's not just like said. You, it's not just an intimate relationship this can, this can happen in. This can also happen in um, friendship dynamics. This is also going to happen in different types of relationship dynamics. It doesn't have to be a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, husband, husband, wife, wife type of situation. It can happen in any type of situation, any type of dynamic. Like your company, your your work friends. You know, you might be afraid to leave your work friends who are toxic as hell because you, you're outgrowing the company. This company did this for me. Like you were there for me. I want to be there for you. Like they might have taken care of you for a little while and now you feel like the need to take care of them. He's like, they took care of me, so I don't want to leave them behind. Yeah. Some narcissistic people are comfortable where they are. They don't want to grow. They have a fear of growth because, of fear, because a lot of times growth means change. 
And a lot of narcissists don't like that change and chaos in their life to take it over because they're paranoid of change. They're scared of that change. Well, what happens here? What happens there? So you have to be very wary of your situation when you're dealing with narcissistic people. Like, a tr like you can continue to grow. You can continue to work on yourself. You can do all of this stuff. You can go above and beyond to try to drag this person up with you. But they still, it, might, it still might not work out for you. You know what I mean? You'll lose sight of your vision, which is which is what happens a lot of times, y'all. I tell this to people a lot of times. Like you are a ship, right? You are a ship. The nar you are a ship in a sea of toxicity when you're in a narcissistic toxic relationship, right? That narcissist is the anchor that is holding you in the sea of toxicity. You cannot fully grow or fully develop into the person that you're supposed to be when you're in a sea of negative toxicity, uh, belittlement. Uh, under being, being undervalued, being devalued, you know, false promises, future faked, manipulated, cheated on, lied on, beat up, emotionally abused, physically abused, verbally abused. You see what I'm saying? You cannot be who you are actually need to be in these situations because you are anchored in this sea of toxicity and you can't move because that anchor is heavy as hell. So what I took, so what you need to do sometimes is cut loose that anchor. When you cut loose the anchor, you float out to clearer, clearer waters. And that's why a lot of times when you see people, I talk to people every single day over Zoom when I'm doing my one on ones. I talk to them and they tell and they say things like I've grown so much since I got out of the toxic relationship. My life has gotten so much better since I got since I left that relationship because you were anchored in the sea of toxicity and that person was holding you back. But sometimes, y'all, you are holding on to that anchor. You can let you can drop you can drop the anchor like the anchor you have seen Captain America um, where Captain America was hold on to the building and he would also hold on to the helicopter. Sometimes you Captain America in this situation you're holding on, the, the narcissist of the helicopter you're holding on to the helicopter trying to keep it from flying off. Sometimes you have to let go to let grow. You see what I'm saying? You have to let things go to let things grow. You might have to, y'all, in order to for you to grow yourself to fully realize who you are and fully realize what you need to do. You need to grow. Sometimes you have to let go. I'm not, I'm not telling you walk. You're not walking away, away from somewhere because that narcissistic person. If you try to leave them, they might make you feel guilty about trying to leave them. After all we've been through, you're just gonna walk away. After all we've done together, you're just gonna leave. After this, after that, blah blah blah, boo boo boo, beep beep beep. You understand the dynamic I'm speaking about. But this is the, this is part of y'all. This is part of the journey that you have to deal with when you're dealing with narcissists or toxic people or whoever. This is part of that journey. And this is not me telling you to leave your relationship. This is me telling you to look at to take a good look at your relationship dynamic and see if that person is either on their ship with you, selling together, or if they are anchoring you in this sea of toxicity. Don't be afraid to let that anger go, y'all. You can cut loose the anger, raise the anchor up, just sell away, y'all. Cut, cut. Sometimes you got to cut loose that anchor. You know, you know what I mean? Sometimes, sometimes you're not even the ship. This might be a better analogy for you right here. It's like, but lead the ship. Well, t technically, these ships need the anchor. Like, you can put the anchor on the ship and you can sell away with it. That's what y'all want to do. But imagine instead of a ship, the narcissist is, is the cinder blocks tied to your feet, drag you to the bottom of the ocean. Now you're drowning in the sea of toxicity. So you're not a ship anymore. You're a human being being drugged down to the bottom of the sea of toxicity because you have these toxic ass blocks tied to your feet. So you want to keep drowning in the sea of toxicity or you want to go up for fresh air? You want to see the you want to see the real world. You want to experience the world for what it is. The choice is yours. I don't try like say I know about a lot of people just like y'all act like I'm the damn arc the, the the harbinger of breakups. I don't tell people to leave their relationship. I tell people to choose you. I say it's okay to choose you. You're not abandoning them. You leaving them where they are. Don't be, like you leaving them where they want to be. Where you leaving them in their comfort zone. And sometimes the, this relationship is also your comfort zone. Sometimes people use the, the, the relationship as an excuse not to pursue their own goals and dreams. I I would I want to be a nurse or I want to be a, a doctor or I want to be a firefighter, but I can't do that because the wife or the kids. I can't do that because my husband. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? I'm not blaming you again. This is not me blaming anybody. This is me trying to bring some some nuance. To you, I learned the word nuance more yesterday. Uh, one of my friends, Bree, used the word nuance to add some stuff to my uh, some something I said. <laughs> She's she like, don't, I'm not attacking you. Like, no, I get it. Trust me. I understand the dynamic there, y'all. But don't be afraid to choose you. Don't be afraid to pick you. I'm gonna cut this video short, y'all, because I think my wife and then my my my, uh, my ring doorbell just went off. The, the self-love journal is now available, y'all. I Love Me, a self-love journal by Lee Hammock is available on Amazon. Y'all see the design. Y'all see the cover. 
It's super available. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I really, truly appreciate every single one of y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sign off. Mental Hill, this is out. Peace. I said sign off.